Welcome to episode 5 of Concise Game Reviews. I'm your host, Rally Car Delta. Today's review features Sniper Elite 5, developed and published by Rebellion. The game is available on Windows PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series devices. Please note that this review is based on the Windows version via PC Game Pass. Now, on with the review. Let me start this off by saying that Sniper Elite 5 was not a game I expected to be reviewing for Concise Game Reviews. I did not play any of the previous titles, and I didn't intend to play this one, until I saw initial reactions pop up on the internet. It was available on PC Game Pass, and since I'm a subscriber, I figure why not try it out? What could I lose besides an hour or two of my personal time? As it turns out, I lost a heck of a lot more than an hour because this is one of the best games I've played this year. When I first installed the game, I thought I was going to be playing some kind of sniper-focused first-person shooter. What I got was a World War II stealth action game that was much more than just shooting Nazis through a scope. The focus of Sniper Elite 5 is the large, explorable sandbox environment. You don't load into a map and just start shooting. The game heavily encourages the player to scout the environment, plan a route, quickly assassinate enemies, and execute the mission. Don't get me wrong, there is plenty of sniping to do if that's your thing, but the game is so much more than just the sniper part of the title. I also need to point out that if you want to shoot your way through every stage, also known as going loud, you can do that too. The game generally allows the player to approach each mission as they desire. My personal favorite mission is a massive French monastery that houses a Nazi spy training camp. Not only is that particular stage amazing to look at, but the flexible environment offers countless ways to tackle the mission objective. Like many games, Sniper Elite 5 isn't perfect. The biggest technical problem is that character animations go haywire from time to time. I don't know if it's the hitboxes or the character models, but every so often something will just go awry with the animation. It's certainly not game-breaking, but it is odd to see the player character attempt a takedown, but suddenly have the enemy model completely glitch out and disappear. It should also be said that Sniper Elite 5 struggles with the same traditional problem that most stealth action games suffer from. Enemy AI is often hit or miss. Enemies are brilliant one second, only to turn around and become completely oblivious to the world in the next moment. It's the age-old problem of stealth games, and that doesn't change here. I also want to add that map design is generally excellent, but the developers utilize far too many impassable walls. In many cases, what looks like a scalable object does not provide such function. The developers clearly don't want players to do certain things, but the environment says otherwise. The Sniper Elite 5 experience also includes numerous multiplayer modes that I found very entertaining. I don't have time to go into detail here, but multiplayer is something for everyone, including a unique mode where a player can invade another person's campaign game. It should be noted that this option can be disabled in the menu. In summary, if you enjoy third-person stealth action games, perhaps similar to Hitman or Splinter Cell, I highly recommend Sniper Elite 5. And with that, this is Rally Car Delta, signing out.